I'm out the other side. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. Football Sunday here, and yeah, my Ravens are doing a job on the Miami Dolphins. How you doing? Welcome into cooking. Hello, Uber. This is going to be, hey, D, hey, Vic, Vicky. This is going to be like a side chat event. I'm going to be pretty busy here. I've got some uh, dough started for the ciabatta bread. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I need to get a so I need to get a start on the sauce. Hello, everybody, and welcome into the uh, Rancho Kitchen. We're gonna do a little bit of cooking today, and I need to start with the uh, with the red sauce, and I need to do that rapidly. Then I'll cut over and make the meat, and uh, then I'll form the uh, dough into the ciabatta loaf. And then I'll go ahead and um, make up the meatballs, okay? So everything should come together pretty pretty well. By about 4 o'clock, the bread should be uh, cooled down. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. So just hang out if you like to and have a good time today. So we're going to start with... Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to just put it all in here. We're going to start with a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to brown off... A little bit of um, garlic and onion here. I need to cut them up. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of olive oil here. How you doing, Zeus? Nice to see you. Try not to make a mess of things today. I do have a uh, garlic press, which makes it a lot easier to squeeze out the uh, garlic. How you doing today, D? What's going on in your world? And I'm going to use one onion here. Get my knives out. I ain't no chef, right? Not like chef, chef here. Let's see what I got. That's a. I've got my decent knife here. Son of a gun. Let's see what I got here. There's my little boy. There's my little boy. Oh, you're working on the RV. Cool. All right. All right, you're doing good, D. That's good. Got a really nice, sharp knife here. I'm going to go ahead and process this onion. I like to get to the good hearts of the matter here on the uh, onion. Yeah, the ravens are looking good. Lamar Jackson is a heck of a quarterback, huh? All right, so I've got that peeled off. I'm going to dispense with all of this. All right. Uh, yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, 52 to 10, and it isn't even over yet. This could finally be the year where, where the Ravens can combine a traditionally... Outstanding defense with an outstanding offense. It could be a, could be an incredible season. We just don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I hope that camera's okay there. We got a little bit of backlight. <clears throat> go ahead and cut this. Okay. And then I'm just going to. Chop this onion. I like to use red onions. I really like to flavor red onions. I think they really complement. They really complement uh, Italian. If you have any hard nibs, just get rid of them. Deep six them. Okay. I'm not going to chop it too, too fine. Here. I'm making, I got all kinds of things to make. I'm putting up a red sauce first because I got to let that simmer away. Okay, and then I have to I have to get the bread shaped up. I think actually I'll just stop a second and shake the bread up here. Okay, let me wipe, let me wipe off my board and turn it over. Because I've got to let the bread rise a little bit. I don't have a ton of counter space here. That's the problem. I got a couple hours of work ahead of me here. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Right. Let's 
turn this over. We're going to try to uh, sit this aside for a minute. We're going to get our oven. We're going to save one pan in there, one baking sheet. Take one of our one of our baking sheets here and clean that up. Ooh. And we're gonna have to form that. Uh, and we're gonna have to form that right on, <clears throat> right on there. Okay. This is not gonna be an explaining hangout today. This is just gonna be more, more doing. And I've got a very wet ciabatta dough here, which is the Italian word for slipper. And it's the one with the really big air pot, it's really big holes in it. I really like it. It really complements Italian food. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a little shaping on this. Okay, we want to. We don't want to knock a lot of air bubbles out, but a, a wet dough is very difficult to. Uh, uh, is very difficult to. Uh, to work with, but the results are great. So I'm just moving it, clearing it from the edges of the bowl here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pour it out, and attempt to give it some kind of shape. On the on the uh, okay. Now that might be a little wet, and I'm going to go ahead and add. A, I'll be adding some flour to that just to help that shape up a little bit, and then we'll let that rise real well. Okay, turn it this way, and I'm attempting to chuck it under itself. Okay, here, I'm trying to shape it into a nice, uh, you shape it into a nice, a little more of a compact rendition here, something like that, I think it's pretty good. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll let that rise off, it's a very difficult very difficult dough to work with. We don't want to bust any of the bubbles in it on the surface. You could probably see it's got some bubbles on it and all that. So we want to make sure to cover that real well. That's going to be a big loaf. Hey, how you doing, Mouse Toes? Nice to see you. That's going to be a really big loaf. Let me go ahead and spray that and put some plastic on top of it. And I'm just going to let that spread out just the way that it wants to on there, okay? I'm not going to worry about... You know, it's a very sloppy... It's a very sloppy dough to work with. Alright. This I started last night by fermenting it last night. Alright, and I'm going to go sit that outside and let that, for, let that go for a bit. for about oh, 50 minutes, 40 minutes, 30 to 50 minutes, we'll take a look at it again. Hello, Jen Jen. Okay, so we'll let that go. So let's clear this off here. And I'll, I'll attempt to give it just a little more forming before it goes in. How you doing, Cupcake? start on our uh, sauce. I've got the onions cut up here. I need to process the uh, garlic now. I have a garlic press. And these things make life a lot easier. I'm going to save my bag. I'm not going to use all of this. Uh, I'm not going to use all of this clove. 
get all the tissue off of it. And I'm going to get about, uh, I'm going to take about three cloves, three decent good size cloves here. I don't want to over garlic it. Garlic is powerful. Let's see if I can get. I'm just trying to get the right size nugget. Okay, I'm happy with those three. We'll put the rest of this away. And clear that off. So, yeah, I just, I don't like things to be too doggone garlicky. Then it just becomes overpowering. Becomes overpowering. I'm going to also need my... Uh, a reg I use. I'd like to use Italian seasoning. Let me go ahead and grab that. Uh, I got my big Italian seasoning. And I like to go to the restaurant supply store because it's a lot easier. It's very cheap to buy stuff in uh, big quantity, and I like that. All right, hey Dawn, how you doing? If I missed anybody, apologies. Let me go ahead and get the uh, skin off of these. And a garlic press makes stuff a lot easier. All right, here we go. We got a long way to go today. I got guests at four o'clock, so I got to get this sauce on. Okay, we're going to take our garlic press, we're going to hit the first piece in here. Okay. Just squeeze that right through, and that works beautifully. I'm going to put another piece in there too. You can load up several pieces. It's a pretty big size press. Okay, make sure your hands are clean when you're working, okay? Don't use dirty hands. One of my real pet peeves. Cupcake will be, well, don't touch your hair then. Okay. Where's your hair net? Come on, get off of here. Oh, shit. Okay, there goes one piece. Is there. I'm going to have to get out another piece. Thing is so damn slippery. Yeah, you would think so, right, D? You would think so, but uh, if I'm cooking for guests coming over, I like to be a little more, a little more formal. Let me get another piece. That would hit the deck. As much as I'd love to be in the teeny weeny bikini every day, some days it's just not really practical. All right, let's get another piece of this. All right. You doing any cooking lately, D? I mean, uh, where you are? Got a clock. Got a clock into work. Take care. Yeah, the uh, pick up the garlic. Yeah, I'll get it up in a minute. Give me one second, and then I got word. Let me just finish this. I doubt if George would even eat. He's such a Picky eater. Boy, it's like they it's like this garlic is it's like glued on. Alright, there we go. Let's put this back in the press. Let's go ahead and squeeze this. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like the way that uh, I like the way that garlic press works. That's going to be plenty of it here. All right. Perfect amount of garlic. Garlic. Perfect amount. Let's clean this up. All 
I like to use red wine vinegar with my uh, spaghetti sauce. You can add carrots and all that. Uh, I don't know. I guess you don't have to take the paper off. I just do it kind of, kind of as a matter of course. Now to this, we're going to add uh, one good... Uh, uh, I like to add my spices once this thing is, uh, once these are sweated here. Two cloves, one teaspoon. We're going to add a full tablespoon of, uh, of the Italian seasoning. Okay, we're going to get a few hot pepper flakes too. That adds a little depth to it. Let's go ahead. Let's get our red wine vinegar out. And our black pepper. Our black pepper. There we go. I'm going to add a little extra. Get that. I'm looking for my uh, pepper flakes. Pepper flakes, pepper flakes, pepper flakes. I guess, I, sh I guess I, you should have everything in place before you begin. I don't know. Oh, here they are. Some red pepper flakes, okay. How you doing, Jeremy? Let me get my big spoon here. And let's go ahead and stir this. Turn the heat down. And we'll sweat these, this garlic and these onions. I can comment, but not it. Okay, uh, I don't know. Let's play. I'm not sure. I got to go through my block list. It's possible one. Of, it's possible one of the moderators blocked you out there. Hey Mary, you're making veggie lasagna. You look really good in your skirt, honey. With for your outing last night, you look good. I'm gonna just sweat these a little bit more to release all that flavor. Spanky, what's going on? How you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, no problem, Mary. Let's go ahead and now I'm gonna. I'd like to add my spices early so that they can deepen a little bit. I do not like to add them at the end. Okay. A teaspoon of uh, salt. In there. Of a dash of pepper flakes just to kind of wake it up a little bit, give it a little bit of zing. I uh, am going to put just a shake of sugar in here too, okay? Just one shake of sugar. Oh, the place smells amazing. I gotta get this garlic off the floor. Wash my hands. Alright. Alright. Now they're sweated really well. I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to add a little oil. I'm going to put a pinch of sugar in in a second. I want to add a little more oil in there. I'm going to just give a shake of salt of uh, sugar. If I can find a darn sugar. <clears throat> I hate to call Missy Jenny, but she can find stuff in a millisecond that I can't find. Now it's the sugar. Sugar. Honey, did you see the sugar ran in here? Our blue sugar thing. Shelf, I usually just keep it out here. The top? Yeah, the big top. It's a nice. It's weird. I usually leave it uh, I usually leave it right on the table. I don't know where in the hell it went. Where are you hiding out? Where are you hiding out? Well I can't take a ton of time. It's somewhere around. 
beard it just disappeared. Right, I'm just gonna get the oh shit, it's sitting right in front of me. Never mind. Okay. Jesus, Rosie, open your eyes. Here it is, right here. Just a little shake of sugar in there. That's all you need. Throw that around a little bit. Okay, we're going to put the heat to it. And our pepper is about a half of a uh, half teaspoon. I like to go a little bit more. I like to uh, like to crank up the sauce a little bit, okay? Put a little bit of zing into it. Okay, we're gonna put the heat back to it for another minute. That ciabatta bread is rising outside. Oh man! Yeah, you better go check that out. See if you're coughing blood, you better go check that out. That sounds more long than anything else. Now I'm going to do a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. I'm going to add that in there. That's my secret weapon. Red wine vinegar. Now I'm going to open, stir that a little more. Now I'm going to go ahead. I need two cans of diced tomatoes. Where the hell are they? Here they are. Let's pop in two cans of diced tomatoes, a little sugar, and a little shake, baby. How about your Baltimore Ravens today, huh? Man, it just decimated Miami. Okay, there's one can. This is going to be two cans. Two 14 and a half ounce cans. How you doing forever, friend? Yeah, red wine vinegar is good. Uh, well, I wouldn't assume that the you know, coughing up coughing up blood is usually pretty serious. Alright. Now we're gonna get uh, how many cans? One our sauce can of tomato plate. I like to add one one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. Let me get my, let me get this thing. Fifty nine to ten. Yeah, I think the Ravens are kind of letting up a little bit now. Maybe trying out some other players here. Okay. I'll tell you, you take a great defensive team, traditionally defensive, with a shitty offense. They won two Super Bowls that way, but I'll tell you what, you put a you hook together a great offense now, now you really got something. <laughs> now you really got something. And let's put one can of uh, tomato paste. Yeah, D, that's nothing to mess with, man. I'm doing the final forming on that chia bottom bread. Woo! All right, let's throw this in. And then we just got to let our sauce simmer. We got to let it go. Put it on low heat. We'll put it on the back. Make sure we got everything in here. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's get this on the right one. Check our, our diced tomatoes, our tomato paste, our garlic, our uh, Italian seasoning, our tomato sauce, salt, pepper, oil, onion. Got that. And I'm going to add a half a cup of water to this. Okay, just to give it a little something else to chew on and work down on. 
Well, lung stuff, I don't know. All right. And then we'll, we'll have to taste this too and make sure that it's coming together the way I like. I generally like to add a little extra basil to it too. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the heat to her now. And you can see about, uh, I'm going to go look, I'm going to go look at the bread real quick. Here. my oven heat I'm gonna pop it up to 800 degrees okay I know some of you are screaming 800 degrees are you kidding me no I'm not kidding you 800 degrees we're starting with the red sauce then I got to knock out some meatballs too which are easy to make and I make a good meatball all right let that go this should be a good sauce once this reduces down. And the bread is out in the California proofing oven. That's it. Uh, one thing we're going to have to do while this is coming up to temperature here, we can go ahead and skin our Italian sausages here. Okay, I got some Johnsonville sausages. My Bengals got the Seahawks today. Going to be a tough game out there. Sure as hell is. That's going to be a tough game, Keith. All right. I'm going to go ahead and score these casings. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use about three before I really handle that. Let me turn the heat down there before I really touch this. Removing it from the casing. Okay. There's one. Comes number two. All right. It's the best way I find to get decent quality without paying a fortune at the uh, deli counter. Form makes Baltimore meatballs. I've got to hold on a minute. I don't want to touch anything while my hands have handled pork. Joey D, I'll tell you, I make some good meatballs, cupcake. I just don't go crazy making them. I don't do with parsley and and all that. I'll take a little bit of one piece of the bread here and I'll put that in with an egg. Let's go ahead and put this one out. How you doing WDF? What's going on? How you doing? Okay, now let me go ahead and get this in a plastic bag. ground beef. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this up first. Okay, focus what's going on here. Let me wash my hands. Parsley. Parsley. I don't have any parsley. And I'm gonna get that I wanna put that low and slow. Okay, all right, we're going to let that sit there. I'm going to chop this up really fine. i got to focus. I don't know what the hell happened to this camera. Uh, cupcake. Uh, I don't have to follow everybody's own recipe. I never had anybody complain about my meatballs. Let me see what's going on here. 
These people are going crazy here. Let's see. What's going on with... Oh, I got this stupid autofocus. Is that the one? I don't know. I got multiple cameras here. Let's see. Auto. There we go. Let's see that. All right, y'all going crazy out there? I know. I just don't get enough uh, enough out of parsley, hot Italian sauce. Yeah, I try not to use the real hot in the uh, in it. This is already coming along really well. Okay. I'm going to give it a few more stirs. I'm going to give that an initial testing here. Let's see what it's... Alright. For the quantity, that's going to need a little bit more... A little bit more of the seasoning there. Oh, you should make a nice herb garden. Yeah, I've never really been into herbs too much, honey. I'm just a very, I'm just a functional kind of chef. Okay. Let's see. Uh, simmer for 30 minutes. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put this on the back burner now. That's up to temperature. That's a real low burner. In the back there. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna put that on the uh, lowest. All right. Go ahead and kind of work this. Uh, go ahead and work this sausage a little bit here. All right. I'm gonna open up the uh, ground beef. Who needs a cookery book? There we go. Who needs a Who needs a cookery book? I'm gonna use about half of this. I only got. I only have four people for dinner. Okay, I'll save this and freeze this for another time. Actually, I'll, I'll save it tomorrow to make a burger. I'll save that tomorrow to make a burger. Let me wash. Work that sausage. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Here's the part. I'm going to really really clean my hands well right now okay all right i'm gonna really make sure my hands are top flight clean how about my ravens today how about my maryland terrapins beating the living hell out of all right right in let me get an egg before i get touching that let me get one egg All right, and I'm gonna get a use a piece of bread. Happy birthday, J.K. Woo! Happy birthday, J.K. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear J.K. Happy birthday to you. Tear up a piece of bread here. I'm going to school the Vikings at Lambo. Yep, it is JK's birthday today. I find a heel of a the heel works really well of a piece of uh, bread. I can't wait. Aaron Rodgers. Still, yeah, I'm still in a rental, unfortunately. Then I'm going to take a little shake of Italian seasoning here. Throw that in here. A little bit of flavoring. And I want to get a tiny bit of red wine vinegar. Thank you, Kiwana. Let's throw that in a splash of that. Oh, all right, that's simmering really good, that sauce. That'll deepen up as we go along here. This sauce doesn't cook for a long time, though, okay? This is not a real long cooker. 
All right. Now we're gonna break our egg in here and we're gonna get in here with our hands. Yeah, Maryland against Penn State, we'll find out if they're real or not. Either Syracuse has a real <laughs> shit year. I don't know. Yeah, the Browns are still the Browns. Go Ravens, baby! How about that, Joe Smith? Our Ravens were tearing it up, baby. In Miami today. Woo! Lamar Jackson, John Crazy. Alright, there's nothing to do but to get your hands in here. Don't look at it. Okay, and mix all of this together. Okay? Mix the whole shooting match together. Okay, squish all the Italian sausage, all the bread together. Nothing to do for it, but just get it in there. What are making noise? Well, I think my uh, I think my oven is making some noise. I'm bringing that up to 800 degrees. All right. And these are going to be some great meatballs. I'm just making sure all the pork is separated here. Okay. Happy birthday to you. All right. These these should form out. These should form out fairly easily here. All right, and we'll get that tended to in a minute. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling the Ravens are going deep this year. Deep, deep, deep. I want to get uh, one more piece of bread here. Now, panko is a great binder for also panko crumbs. I noticed when I was in uh, overseas living in Asia that a lot of the recipes would use panko crumbs too. And I like to use them. Hey, how you doing, Original Al? Woo, there it is. I like to do, I like to do that too. So we're going to get these formed and then we're going to put them into the, uh, start them off. Okay. Uh, I'm cooking at 800 degrees WDF. I'm cooking my, um, I'm cooking my bread, my Chiavada bread. <clears throat> I'm the only person you'll ever see cooked at 800 degrees, baked bread at 800 degrees. Okay. That sauce is looking good. All right, we're going to let that continue to go. Let's go ahead and work these pancos in. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and work that. They make a nice binder here. Okay. We let them sit in there. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and form our, uh, go ahead and compress and form our meatballs. Put them in there. Yeah, I'll be careful. I've done it for years on my channel. No big deal. Two. Number three. Comes number four. Yeah, I wish I could, Nathan. Comes number five. And I try to kind of make them uniform in size. Okay, and what the panko is going to really, the high temperature gives it a very uh, strong initial bout of oven spring, D, for the first 10 minutes. You want to put it in at the highest heat possible. It overexcites the yeast and it causes a tremendous volume. Okay. I have kind of pioneered the high heat method of uh, bread. We'll see the results today. All right, 
I got some beautiful meatballs here. Huh? All right. Nice. Yeah, you got to think about that initial high heat, that blast of high heat. And you need to have a spray bottle too with water. And uh, you should be putting a uh, thing, a, a skillet or something in the bottom that you can add ice cubes to it to give more steam. So this is a high heat frying pan. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bottom of the floor, the next to the floor of the oven and let that heat up with it, okay? All right, I think it's almost time. We're going to get our, uh, we're going to do another tasting. We're going to do another tasting of our sauce. Don't be that person that double dips with the same spoon, okay? Mm. That sauce is just missing a little something. This sauce just needs a little more wang to it. I'm going to add another teaspoon of red wine vinegar in there. Okay. All right. That'll give it the umami that we want. All right. That's going to be really nice. That's going to be an awesome sauce. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's Gotham or not, to tell you the truth. Not really sure. Right, but I know we got to get this bread going, like now. So we can let the meatballs sit on the side. Ain't no big deal. Okay. We'll get this bread in the oven. You need to have a spray bottle, an atomizer, okay, with nice clean water in it. All right. I'm going to bring the bread in now and attempt to give it its final little coaxing here. Chiabat is the Italian word for slipper. Okay. Let's see if we can spray this a bit. Let's see. Hand clean. Yeah, I'm making myself hungry today. I think that uh, I think that sauce can just sit in mellow a while now. I think the basic sauce is looking good. It's ready to go. So hot and fast. That's right, Cassidy. You know it, honey. Woo! You're right at the you're right at the top of the pack, baby. I'm just I'm just moving this together a little bit, okay? How I'm doing it is I'm spraying my hands with cooking oil with uh, professional cooking spray, okay? And that's kind of tightening that up a little bit. All right. Now, the next thing you need to do, you need to get something to put two cups of ice in. All right. We're duplicating a commercial steam oven. We're going to have that ice ready to go. We're going to try to give this a light brush with an egg wash here. Okay. Let's make a little bit of a egg wash that we can brush on the top here. Okay. We got nice bubbles in that bread. Really nice bubbles. This kitchen is in high gear today, baby. Now we're going to add a really slight bit of water to it. Break that membrane. 
Oh, okay. You like to see the way those meatballs are being done. I'm going to spray them with non-stick spray, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our brush here. Rosie's a high-speed girl. Let's go ahead and give that a really light coating of the egg wash here. Okay. And if you see any big bubbles, you kind of want to break them. All right. And that big beautiful loaf is ready to go into the oven. Okay, now this is a this is you got to be careful. It's very hot. What you got to do, I put this on top of a baking stone. Where in the hell is my timer? Where's my timer? God, I hate to bother Jen. Yeah, it just went off. I had it sitting over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm going to put this to about 11 minutes, okay? All right. Put your, put your bread in on top of your stone. Close it for a minute. Take your ice and drop it into your pan down below. And real quickly, open it one more time and spray your loaf. All right. Now hang back for hang back for ten minutes, okay? And we can do a little bit of cleanup. We can cook the meatballs, and things are really coming along good in a very rapid way here. Coming to conclusion. I'm going to close the front bedroom door because that's very sensitive. That. Uh, smoke detector there. Spray your meatballs a little bit too, okay? Thank you, Nathan! Three dollars on the super chat. Woo! Meatballs! There you go. Uh, woo! That's really cool. Thank you! Woo! I think Jen just closed it. Do not open the oven door, okay? It's imperative that you not open the oven door. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup here. Don't open the oven door. Yeah, I use uh, pork and I use uh, beef, yes. I use pork and beef. My little secret, besides one slice of bread, I like to use some panko crumbs too. Panko, panko crumbs are the bomb. They're really good for working with. Oh, thank you very much, Keith. Hi, Judith. I worked in uh, Philip Seafood Restaurant in Ocean City. <sighs> Taught me about high-speed cooking. Worked my way up from shucking corn to uh, to a uh, to a line cook flat top. Where the person that did the little skillets, like crab Norfolk and Smithfield crab, and, and those kind of. Uh, Dishes. Very high speed. I think they did something like 2,000 meals a day out of there. They had five kitchens in that restaurant. Five kitchens. Uh, yeah, you use Panko. How you doing, Sheba Queen? I do the cooking and the baking. Okay, now what's happening? That loaf is sitting in now. And those yeast are experiencing a final orgy in there. They're, they just can't believe it's like their shift came and they don't know that they're going to be expiring soon. So they're expanding and multiplying at a frantic rate in there right now. <coughs> and uh, the moisture is preventing the crust to set for a while. Okay, very, very important. Get this stuff off. Okay, thank you very much, Nathan. I appreciate it, my friend. You enjoy your day off. You're a hard-working guy. Go ahead and get some of this crap all cleaned up here. Yeah, Phillips, good crab house. Shirley Phillips was hell to work for, though, I'll tell you that. Oh, man, she was like a Leona. The only way I can describe it she was like Leona Helmsley. I don't know if you remember her. Hey, Monique, how you doing, baby doll? 
Leona Helmsley. Exactly, exactly that kind of person. Let's take a peek in. That bread should be starting to do its uh, rising dance soon. All right, getting stuff cleaned up. Good, you just woke up, honey. Rosie was on the deck at 7 a.m. Dried off. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciated. Thank you very much. I'd like to have everything all cleaned up. All I have to do is really cook the noodles tonight. And I'm all set. Oh, you were just getting home at seven. That's funny. That is funny. Hello, Vanessa. How are you doing, sweetie pie? How was your carnival? Was today, uh, was yesterday your carnival? Your nodding carnival? I think it's that time of year, isn't it? For that. I'm just getting home. That's pretty cool. Monique is a party girl, man. Don't be fooled. She is a party girl. Oh, almost lost one. Here, let's go ahead and give a taste of this again. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is bang on right now. Bang on. That sauce is really bang on. You can put that through the food processor right now if you don't like it really chunky. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that loaf is, uh, looks like that loaf is doing its thing. Um, I'm going to keep this out. Everything is all pretty much cleaned up almost. Clean our brush out really well. I'm doing meatballs, ciabatta bread again. And um, I'm doing, uh, I just did a red sauce, Monique, for uh, spaghetti. A red sauce. So red sauce, meatballs, and uh, our bread is in the oven. Our bread is in the oven. That's got about five more minutes, and that is actually starting to really rise right now. Putting stuff away. Yeah, it's going to be a good dinner tonight. It's going to be a classic, classic dinner. Right. It's going to be a classic. Now I'm not going to wait. I'm going to wait a couple minutes till I got to change out the bread temperature here. Okay. I'm not going to rush to that. Just dry this off. This was just ice cubes. Here. Make sure you spray your meatballs with non-stick spray before you start to cook them, okay? All right. Yeah, she usually takes part every year, I think. All right. I got about... Uh, Four minutes to take a break, and uh, I will be I will be right back. Okay.
Cool a couple of them down. Let's uh, see. Oh man, that loaf is looking like a thing of beauty in there. Woo! Looking like a thing of beauty. I can't give you guys a peek or it'll deflate the whole the whole shebang. Let's see if we got a final in on the Ravens. Ravens. Watch out for the Ravens, man. 59 to 10, baby. Woo! 59 to 10. 59 to 10. See, a lot of meatballs will stick. Let's put some low heat to this and let them... And then I'll add some water to make sure that they're... When they're already browned off real good... I'll add a little bit of water in to steam them and make sure that they're really done. Yeah, 59 to 10 today, Lamar Jackson. This kid is lighting it up. <laughs> this could finally be the year when the Ravens combine a good offense with a traditionally great defense. Once that bell goes off, we're going to lower the temperature down to about 400 degrees and let that cook off for about a half hour, okay? We're going to let that cook off for about a half hour. There's Missy Jen. All right, let them get brown. Don't turn them immediately. Okay. All right, now I'm going to back this off to 400 and about 400 degrees, and I'm going to add about a half hour to it. Don't open the oven or you'll deflate your loaf. Okay, it'll deflate a little bit anyway. Just imagine like you're baking a souffle or something in the oven, and you got to be damn careful with the air pressure. Go Patriots! You're greedy, Lindsay. <laughs> You're greedy. Actually, the Ravens play the uh, New England Patriots. To turn the meatballs. Give them a little shake before you lift them, okay? Very important. Give them a little bit of a give them a little bit of a shake before you turn them, okay? You shouldn't really have them as crowded as as uh, I have them. Give them a little bit of a shake in case they're sticking there, okay? And they're looking good right there. Uh, Ravens got the Chiefs. That'll be a tell, right? Uh, let's see. Take a little teeny tiny peek. Oh yeah, that loaf is looking fantastic. Oh, make sure that that oven is still going good. Uh, yeah, Ravens deserve it this year, right? Okay. So I got them cooking on a low heat. Our sauce is continuing to uh, meld together here. Okay, pretty good. You can put it in the food processor if you like it very smooth. I like it a little chunky style. No, it wasn't frozen. I made it. I started last night with uh, uh, two cups of water and a cup of uh, and two cups of. Flour and I blended that together with a tiny bit of, uh, I know, I know, Monique, a tiny little bit of yeast, and I let that, I let that ferment overnight, covered in a bowl, and then I added two more cups of uh, 
two more cups of flour and another cup of water this morning. I like to use an iron skillet. Go Tigers! How about my uh, how about my darn Maryland Terrapins? The way they beat the tar out of Syracuse. Did I think that uh, Maryland would ever be pure? Okay. Yeah, the Orioles have been struggling. Remember to shake your meatballs so they don't stick, okay? Give them a little vibration motion. Just a little, a little tip for me to you. They'll never, they'll never, they'll never fall apart on you, okay? Give them a little bit of a shake before you try to turn. Alright, you'll see, you'll see down here, not one of these meatballs has fallen apart at all here. Okay. There's our there's our sauce there. What is what the hell is ciabatta bread? There we go. Jordan Blue. Oh, man. And in another minute I'm gonna let these uh, it's hard to get them browned on every side, but you have to try to attempt to. Try to sit them on end if need be. Just shake them once in a while when they're cooking. Okay. Oh, Shabbat, Shabbat, uh, yeah. They're all so funny. Shalom, 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 Shabbat, everybody. Oy vey. Welcome to Manny's Jewish Kitchen. Shalom, Shabbat. Oy vey. We got meat pools. We got everything. We got the meat pools. Now, at this point, if you want to, you can finish these off in the oven, too. You can finish them off in the uh, oven. But uh, I like to do them in the uh, in the pan here. All right, so I'm going to move some from the outside to the inside here. Just give them a little vibration there. Treat your meatballs good, and they will treat you good. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead okay. Now what that's going to do, that's really going to, that's really going to cook them through, okay? Alright, that little trick that's going to allow them to really cook through, and they're going to they're going to stay soft. I will take a little peek at the bread. Oh, the bread looks beautiful. The bread looks beautiful. I got to make sure this oven didn't kick off on me. I think it's okay. Some 
times that thing kicks off. Monique said, hey, Missy Jen. She said, hello, Monique. <clears throat> That's allowing them to all steam away here, and they're going to stay nice and soft now. is absolutely critical for having a nice tender tender meatball. I don't like to bite into a meatball that's like a baseball, okay? Alright. Alright, they're looking good. They're looking good. Okay, we're going to turn the heat very low now on there. Spaghetti, yeah, I, it's my favorite too. I love spaghetti and meatballs. That's like my favorite, favorite dish. Elvis, uh, Elvis always tortured me, Rosie. You always get spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> you always get spaghetti and meatballs. Now you can go ahead and add them to your sauce if you want, but I want to make sure that they're very thoroughly cooked. Yeah, it's the ultimate comfort food. Uh, uh, Joey D and uh, Bobby are coming over. I never got a hold of Robert. I never heard back from him. I never heard back from Handsome Robert. You don't think Handsome Robert could give up on me, do you? <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Now, this ciabatta is a flat bread. It's not a big round loaf. That's why they call it a slipper. That's why it's the Italian word for slipper. It's going to be about that thick, but it's going to be wide, and it really uh, has a lot of nooks and crannies to hold the butter in. Mm. Missy Jen, pretty much everything's all cleaned up. I got a good handle. Keep turning your meat on. Huh? What's a good handle on? Yeah, I got a good handle on dinner tonight. Got the bread in there. Yeah, so we're in good shape. I just want to make sure that the meatballs are very thoroughly. Very thoroughly cooked here. Very important because it's a pork product. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I should have said no. I mean, like here, man. Like I'm getting skinnier. Uh, handsome Robert was Robert Sharp. He was Hello, one that he was the one that would chooch with me, Monique, in Oakland down there and meet me for Chinese dinner down there. Hello, Farrell. And everybody else, all you wonderful people, and uh, uh, I mean, all you wonderful, awesome. Here, I would say, blow on it. Wonderful friends. How is it? It's, it's awesome. Okay. Well, that's why I gave you the taste, it, right? All you wonderful, awesome friends here in the soy set. Hello, King. Nice yeah, handsome him. Robert. He'll be around. He was on last week. He was on the chat. I don't know what he's so busy. He's, got, he's got some kind of job he's doing right now. He might be a secret agent or something like I used to be. I'm well, more than a teacher in the one. It's like right, we're gonna, it's we're gonna actually Ooh. add one more last bit of water to this. Have to set my shit okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add one last bit of water to that. And we got to test one of these meatballs here. Make sure the flavor is all there. How's everybody doing today? This check mighty on, fine these, yeah. Sunday. Mm. Yes, that's, that's right, Baron. I'm fading away. That is a rocking meatball. So we need to let them Hello, cook off. Hey. We need to let them cook off a little more here. 
Okay. Missy Jan, you're fading away. Yes, she is. I'm fading away. Yeah. I put on this t-shirt here, and it's like I could easily wear two sizes small. <sighs> I'm literally everywhere, all over, all my shoulders and everything. I'm like. Like, I look like a kid again. I look like I'm 12 again. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, I'd like to finish these off with a little bit of a shake of Italian seasoning. The reason I do that is that will actually stick to them a little bit and actually deepen the Italian flavor of them, okay? All you do is shake it on. That'll gradually be absorbed. Yeah, Robert came for me. Maybe he didn't want a replay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Sure that. Hmm. Hmm. That is some kind of banging meatball right there. All right, so we're gonna let the we're gonna turn that off, <laughs> and we're gonna take the. Uh, we're going to allow the heat from the skillet to finish uh, to finish cooking these. So what I'm going to actually do is just sit this cutting board will be fine. I'm going to sit the cutting board right on top to allow that heat to stay inside. Shake it! <laughs> How is Cupcake doing? Hey Max, how you doing? Let's take a look at the bread. Oh, the bread is looking wonderful. I'll give you guys a little peek now. The bread is stabilized here. Okay. And there's the uh, there's the ciabatta bread. All right. We got to make sure it cooks all the way through. Okay. How's that look? Pretty good. That doesn't look bad, does it? Looks good. It's going to be a nice slicing loaf right there. Remember, I started that at 800 degrees for 10 minutes. Get that high heat. Wham! Did you hit that? That creates what we call oven spring, maximum oven. Because this, this would be a very flat bread. Okay, but you need it to have a little bit of rise to it so it's not super flat. Okay? We got about 15 more minutes. Everything is looking good. Everything's looking good. I'm going to treat myself to the rest of this meatball that I started to eat here. Mm. That bread looked good. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. See, this is. Mm -mm -mm. Got it. Oh. Yeah, those meatballs are looking good. I'm going to add just a touch more water to the uh, sauce to, to let that go a couple more minutes. Yeah, you know why I made 13 meatballs exactly. Now you can have real big meatballs or you can have small ones. It all depends. Oh, that sauce is banging. That sauce is banging. Don't worry, I washed it off after Missy Jen used it. Kitty Cat! How are you? My favorite YouTuber is back. Where's Georgie? He's around here somewhere. All right, you guys be cool. I'll be back in a minute, okay?
conspiracy right here. You saying what's going on over here? And he smells all kinds of the meatballs, tomato sauce. Hello, Diane. Hello, kitty cat. Did you ever consider Missy Jen if they like seeing George better than me? Yeah, he's of course. The, he's the superstar. He's the superstar. There's he's, Georgie. He's the, Georgie boy. He's the show. Georgie boy. He's, the show. he's one of those meatballs. He's, he traveled with us on our 7,633 mile journey. He was a great traveler. He didn't like the only the only thing. Yeah, she is the only thing that freaked out. Uh, Georgie was going through the Rocky Mountains. He never saw like snow and and huge mountains before. So it was kind of wild. It was really kind of wild. <laughs> She's doing much better with her walking. She has really gained a lot of ground recently. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I think these uh, meatballs are pretty much fired through now. Steaming really ensures that they get done here. Okay, so I'm going to leave them covered here. I'm going to get a better cover for them. All right. Having a dog is a great Yeah, he was a great traveler. He went every night, every night in a different hotel. Stuff, so he was good. Turn the heat up, Baltimore girl. Baltimore girl. Georgie, what is it? What is it, Georgie? bad guys. Let's make sure our, our bread is looking good. That's going to have a nice crust on it there. Meatballs. The meatballs are really juicy. Look at that. Okay, and they should be really Cook through, and you got to make sure when you have a pork product that it's very cooked through. Insane chef, how you doing, my friend? How are you? So I got the meatballs there. I'm going to cover them now with aluminum foil. And let them stay warm. I got that bread just about ready to come out. All, oh, you're feeding 2,000 people right now. That's why they call you the insane chef. you got to have your head down and doing that, right? Let's go ahead and move this over here now. Make sure our meatballs stay covered over there. Yeah, 2,000, that's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. 2,000, can you imagine that? I'm going to put the lid on. Yeah. I'm going to 
afraid to bend over too much. My pants might explode here, what's left of them. So, I think I need a patch job. Shake that ass real quick. I'm not a Philly girl. I'm not a Philly girl. I'm about 90 miles south of Philadelphia. South. Yeah, I saw your message, Diane. Try out a little, try out a little mom and pop and up and coming. <clears throat> okay, we got about five minutes and the bread should be done. And we are all set for our uh, we're all set for our dinner tonight. Yep. So, hey Georgie. Uh. <laughs> Loving my new iPhone 10. Just finishing off. All right, cupcake, put something up. I just think, uh, other phone, you got to throw a lot, girl, huh? Hey, Vinny, how you doing? We just got done walking in Arlington, a nice trip there. National Cemetery. How you how you holding up, Vinny? Okay. It's a Samsung. Uh, what did I say? A damn. What did I say? It's a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and the picture quality is phenomenal. I can't wait to do a night shoot to see how it does. Check our bread. Oh, our bread's got that nice, got that nice firm, got that nice crust on it now. We're gonna get our gloves ready to pull it out. I'm gonna move this out of here. Have a nice working surface here. All right, a mom and pop place. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you, Vinny, my grandmother had uh, three strokes, 1974, 1980, and 19, 1984, she survived all three, went back to work after two of them, and she died at uh, 98 years old, okay, and she always regained all of her mobility <coughs> and everything, so... Right, here we go. Let's pull the bread. Oh, look at that nice big loaf of ciabatta bread there. Woo! Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was tough. There it is. A 
really nice loaf. It's got that nice crust. That is going to be some good eating, and that can cool down for a couple of hours. Doesn't that look nice? You can actually overcoat it again, but that's the uh, it, it, ciabatta, the Italian word for slipper. Right? Vinny speaks Italian. That'll last for a while. That look good. I'm going to transfer that to the rack now. I'm going to transfer that to the rack here. Let me turn the oven off. Slice up and be very, very delicious there. Uh, it's going to be one delicious meal. In a couple minutes, I might cut off a little end piece and then dip that in the sauce and see how it goes. But it's still cooking inside right now. Listen to that. It's going to be one delicious meal. So we've knocked off our meatballs today and our sauce, and we got another nice, really another nice loaf of ciabatta bread. And doesn't that look like a slipper? It looks looks like a looks like a slipper. A couple more minutes, we'll cut off a little end piece and try it out. Basically, I'm ready for the guests to come. Uh, I've made a lot, a lot of uh, bread, Diane. That's why I've baked, you know, probably uh, <clears throat> no less than a hundred loaves of bread here in this uh, in this kitchen. I like to have a good crust on it. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. I'm gonna put my recipe stuff away. <clears throat> Look at my crazy, I don't do the noodles, I'm going to do the noodles, I'm going to drop them when Joey D about 10 minutes before we're ready to eat. Look at my recipe book. Oh man, you know you're a real baker when you have that. You know you're a real baker when you have that. So that's what's on the menu at the Rancho when uh, Joey D and Bobby come up. Should be some good eats tonight. <clears throat> Thank you, Spanky. I think that turned out really nicely. It's got like artisan artisan qualities to it. Okay. Yeah, I like I like to all my baking recipes for the last 20 years are in there. If you guys don't know who Spanky Ham was, is he was the guy that uh, stream sniped me a really nice guy in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Four o'clock, the company is coming. So I'm going to slice off an end piece of this and try it. I just got to wait a couple more minutes to let that uh, cool. You don't want to slice bread when it's real hot. That's a loser. That is a loser. Clean this up a little bit. I 
use the hell out of my bakeware. Use the hell out of it. Smell that bread. Ciabatta with olive oil and cracked pepper. Well, insane chef, you're, you're a lot classier than I am, my friend. That's for sure. One of the really great, uh, one of the really great channels. Insane chef. Hey, Nate, how you doing? Let that cool off. I'm going to go ahead and slice off an end piece of this. <laughs> oh, listen to that crunchiness. Woo! Listen to that crunchiness. That baby is hot as hell. Yeah, and that's what you want to see on the inside, right there. See those nice holes in there? That's exactly what you want to see. Okay, it's a very springy. Okay, yeah, baking streams. Thank you, Nate. Isn't that nice? That's a real... That's a real ciabatta. And that's exactly what it should look like if you uh, make it. Always make sure, always make sure to uh, start it the night before. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Mmm. I know I'm torturing you guys. I know it. This had so much crunch to it. Oh, what a treat. Right in that sauce. Mm. I'm going to go uh I'm going to go work for the insane chef. <laughs> I never double dip. I'll turn this piece around and dip it the other way. Mmm. Great crunch to it. Mmm, 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 What a treat. Mm. Ah, it's unbelievable, Spanky. The winner. I use a combination of artisan Bob's Red Mill artisan bread flour, one one third of that, and two thirds regular gold metal flour. All right, yeah, twelve thousand rolls. Woo! <clears throat> All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it down. I don't know what my uh, final. To knock all this out in an hour and 36 minutes, I think, was pretty darn good. 
Uh, yeah, put a ring. How you doing, Dave Ridlin? Put a ring out back in Elvis Kenny. Cash prize fighting, huh? Dave, you're gonna come up from uh, you're gonna come up from Point Reyes. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys for being along today. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for your uh, support of the stream. If you enjoyed the uh, baking, all this stuff was knocked out in an hour and 36 minutes today. Uh, please give me a thumbs up on the uh, stream if you enjoyed it. Share it with others on your social media. And uh, I will see you guys tonight. Okay, thank you guys so very much. Woo.